Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to Let's Play Lübeck with me, Vida Gavia. And uh, this is a big empty space, as you can see. Uh, but previously, if you've followed this uh, series, uh, you will know that there was a huge, gigantic stables here. And um, last episode I tried to start and remove it a bit, and uh, now I'm done. And uh, that means that the cows have moved to this temporary pen. This cow has escaped somehow. He will pay with his life. And the pigs have moved over here to an equally um, non-permanent space. And this was terrible. This was absolutely terrible. And this guy has escaped. I don't know why they escaped. Or how they escaped, sorry. I don't know. Moving these sheep was absolute agony, I have to tell you that. But I did it. I what do I do with you, though? What do I do with you, mate? It's dark grey, it's easy enough to fix. Look, there's another guy that escaped over there. I don't know if this is gonna, you know, if I'm gonna be able to but that's the light grey sheep, that's not the end of the world either, is it? So I guess we'll have some mutton at some point. Yes, anyway, I've torn that down. Um, and I've placed some markers here as well. And that is because we're going to, uh, at some point very soon, start building their new stables. And they're going to go in, in an L shape like this. And uh, over to that side as well. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be great. I think the cows and the pigs will fit. Um, I'm not so sure about the sheep, but we'll see what we do. We can at least do just a uh, a big old pen for, for all of them, much like they are in now, but indoors. And that should be alright. Um, but what are we going to do today? Well, I had my... <coughs> pardon me. I had my lovely wife stand around at the zombie spawner farm the XP farm that I have for a while today and I got me some levels or she got me some levels thank you very much so I'm a level 62 at the moment so what we're going to do because we have these I mean some of this stuff is quite good but it's not diamonds exactly and uh, it's it's sort of breaking apart and this is uh, a nice pick but um, I want to get an efficiency 5 pick and I want to get an efficiency 5 shovel and also axe and I want a better sword, and I want a better bow. Because so, uh, if you recall, during the last part of my Halloween episode, I got killed by a creeper. We don't want to really talk about that, but that happened. And he actually killed more than my person. He killed my bow as well. And so I need to get, uh, get myself a new one. And um, yeah, so we're going to do that today. And then, if you see, I've fenced in part of this uh, st structured B over here. And that is because uh, this is sort of going to be the central hub. So there's going to be one sort of animal here, and one sort of animal here. Possibly there's going to be two sorts of animals over here, but uh, we'll see about that. But anyway, these guys are going to need feeding. And so for that reason, the second thing we're going to do today is to build a micro farm, or a nano, nano farm, or a mini farm, or whatever you want to call it. One of those things that gets you carrots or potatoes or um, wheat very quickly and uh, very space, space efficient, efficiently. So we're going to do that. Uh, but first off, as you can see, I've built a ton of spades, bows all sorts of gear here. I have my lapses, uh, lapis even, and uh, we're going to do some enchanting. So uh, let's head over there and get that going. Um, yeah, I hope you guys had a good week. I had a uh, lovely time in Sweden um, and uh, it's because of Sweden that this uh, episode is a little bit late. Well, when I say a little bit, I mean a day. But uh, we did get there in the end with this, so let's see, what uh, what do I want most? I want an efficiency 5 pick. That's not going to be efficiency, is it? 
and then if uh, my testing is correct and I think it is um, if there's uh, one thing on the pick it's gonna be all always but gonna be the same on the shovel and the axe so I'm gonna ignore those for now and go for that one that's not good so we'll skip that how about the bow power three I don't actually know what the maximum power is but what I first of all want is infinity on that thing so we're gonna skip that as well and uh, so I think we're gonna need to put some torches up and uh, that's to block by the way in case you don't know block the uh, library section off here so that we don't get any um, extra cost when we do a low level enchant to, to rotate the whole thing around so we'll do that it'll only cost us one level and we have an efficiency one stone shovel and then we can pick uh, these guys up again and put a gold sword on uh, the enchanting table and then put whatever we want to on there afterwards and see what we get now the reason uh, I'm putting a gold sword on is and I don't actually know if this is completely true but um, uh, anymore but it used to be anyway that gold items had a higher enchanting level than diamond items so if you put a gold item on there it'll lock it into higher enchants or better enchants so sharpness 4 this is a potential one for our sword then here so if you put that on that should be sharpness oh sharpness 3 hmm see it's probably still true but if we put this on that'll be efficiency 4 now that is what we want but we might see what's going on with the bow still power 3 I can get power 3 for 19 levels that's quite good but I will have to look up what the maximum amount of power you can get is so I think we'll do efficiency 4 on this one and we need another efficiency 4 pickaxe after that so we can get, get efficiency 5 and that's our first proper enchant done and now if we put the sword on again smite 5 that's not very good but we'll try with this thing and we get efficiency 4 again so this is our pickaxe done did I want to get more than that? I only got that. Okay, so let's see what's on there. So that's efficiency for it. That's not very good though. I, I need... I'm breaking through. Maybe I can put it on one of those things. Anyway, that's that done. Let's put the sword on again. Sharpness 4. Is that going to get to sharpness 3 here again though? No, that's sharpness 4. Okay, you know what? I think I'll go for that this time and there we go sharpness four and let's put the sword on again sharpness three that's rubbish but maybe there will be what do i want most i i have i have efficiency four on this axe and i don't think i've i might have repaired it what yeah i did repair it once when i tore the stables down i still say a shovel is maybe the way to go i'm breaking three that's not very good how about the bow? I'm breaking three now. Guess it's gonna have to be another shovel here, I think. Oh, I need to put the um, torches up. I am I am cautious with my levels here, cause you know, don't want to um, take up too much of my family's time. Obviously, standing about doing my bidding. They have lives of their own, obviously. So if I now got these levels from her then I need to use them wisely so we'll do another one of them like that and oh put take the torches down even okay well I shall fiddle around with this find out what I can actually get on the bow and uh, I will be back when I'm done and we can start on the um, micro farm And here we are. I had to make another diamond pickaxe because I needed unbreaking on it. So I have efficiency 4, unbreaking 3 on that one, and just efficiency 4 on these two. And so these two are going to be combined to an efficiency 5, unbreaking 3 axe. I can probably combine these two to quite a nice sword with high damage, fire aspect 2, and sharpness 4, and then a bit of knockback as well. And then we have these here. I'm not 
sure I need silk touch on the shovel but hey ho it doesn't matter, really matter uh, so these are going to be combined and here we go with the silk touch efficiency 4 and I'm breaking 3 efficiency 4 axe as well so I kind of ran out of levels, I only have 20 levels now and I never got a really good bow so I'm gonna have to uh, make do with this quite poor one for the moment uh, but all in all that's quite nice, I'm going to um, start by doing the pickaxe here because you know that's the most important piece of equipment you have efficiency 5, I'm breaking 3, yum and then I think we should do the shovel. So here we go. Efficiency 5. That should be quick. And I got 12 levels left. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do the sword as well. You know what? I have quite a good axe. I'll do the sword first, I think. Four levels and a shiny sword later and then we'll see if we can afford this one as well no why is it 11 11 is because there's silk touch on it okay let's try the other way around oh that's even dearer okay so i'm gonna have to wait with these two for a little bit but anyway that's lovely here efficiency five efficiency five good sword Something like that. That's not too shabby, is it? That's really a, uh, an eyesore, obviously, but we can sort that out later. I'm going to have to do another session of um, XP grinding later on and, and sort it out. So anyway, uh, that's that for the enchanting bit. I'm quite pleased with the pickaxe anyway and, and uh, some of the other bits as well. And um, now it's onwards and upwards. We're going to. I'm going to swap up my stuff in my bags and get started on this um, nano farm over here and uh, hopefully I'll be able to finish that up quite quickly while also explaining to you what I'm doing and how it works and so I'll be right back when I've sorted out my gear and welcome back well I have picked up some gear or some materials and uh, I've made a little hole here I don't actually know if I need it yet but uh, I thought I'd talk you through this um, nano farm a bit and um, I placed a half slab here and this is where you're going to stand on um, when you're doing your uh, your farming and then the nano farm is going to be in this area here and um, these are the materials you need I reckon you need some um, dirt well you need one piece of dirt actually a comparator oh look at him you can go. He's trying to get to me. He's so cute. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try out my new sword on him. See how that goes. Ah, oh, I reckon he'll die. That is the question. Look, the cow has escaped as well. I really... Oh, he got, o got over there somehow. I really, really, really don't like the way fences work in this game. They're just not reliable enough, are they? Oh well, anyway, um, yes, you need a comparator, a piece of dirt, some building blocks, some half slabs, three dispensers, a bit of redstone, and a bucket of water. I think that should be it. And um, I should also say that this is not my design, um, and I'm sure many people have done it, uh, but the one that I have been following, and uh, sort of gotten my inspiration from, is uh, made by Impulse SV. So you can go and check his um, his build out, his uh, tutorial out, if you want to know how to build this properly. Uh, he's a very good uh, tutorial person, you might call it. So um, uh, on this piece of dirt here is where we're going to grow things. So we need to build up a bit here. And then uh, the thing with this uh, nano farm, the idea behind it is basically that you have things that aren't placed like that. You have dispensers with bone meal in them and they are going to shoot out things onto um, onto this space here from three directions and that's going to make the seed or the potato or carrot that you grow on there instantly grow. And they're going to do that really quickly so that's going to go super quick. 
Now the other, so that's one part of it. The other technique that we're going to be using is that we're going to make this this space in here where we're growing things quite dark, below the light level in fact that is needed for it to stay grown once it's grown. So as soon as uh, it grows, which will be instant, it will uh, ungrow again because of the darkness in there. So that's the idea of this whole build. Now, um, you can activate this in a, a number of different ways, uh, but the way we're going to do it now is going to be with a lever, oh, which I forgot to pick up, so I'm going to go and do that. The lever is going to be on there, so when you activate that, that's going to activate a really fast little redstone clock here, which in turn will power these uh, dispensers to shoot out the, uh, the bone meal. So that's the idea. Uh, but anyway, I need to go and get... Oh, there's a zombie up there as well. Oh, I really need to secure my base better, don't I? This is getting quite um, scary, actually, because, I mean... Come on, that might as well have been a, a creeper. Come here, mate. Come here so I can kill you. Where are you? Oh, there you are. On the fence. You're on the fence. Oh. Hey, you set me on fire as well. That's the drawback, I guess, of a uh, fire aspect sword. Um, that you will catch fire yourself as well. So let's get a couple of levers and run back again. Um, yeah, I really like this, uh, the idea behind the nano farm, because I can never figure out really uh, a nice, um, sort of aesthetic way to do uh, big farms uh, of wheat or, or whatever. I can, I, I like to use the, those things as sort of, well, uh, for aesthetic reasons, but I can never really figure out how to do it so that, um, yeah, so that uh, it looks good when there's a lot of it. So, yeah. Kind of like the idea of... Uh, well, let's think... Why are you out here, Smella? That is just the oddest thing. She's not to be s supposed to be out here. She's supposed to be sitting on my bed. Sit down at least and scare the creepers away. So this guy, the other guy, he got over here. So let's see if this guy can do the same or if that was just a fluke. I probably shouldn't build this in the night, by the way, but, you know. That might have been a fluke. I'm quite disappointed, I still have to hit the zombies twice. It's a bit annoying, actually. Um, so anyway, what am I doing here? Yes, I need to build myself a little redstone clock here, so like that. And then I need a block. So obviously the idea here is, when we switch this lever on, the signal goes through here, through the block and into here and back into the repeat, uh, the, re, um, the comparator from the side and that just uh, makes the comparator switch off again and then because there's still power here it switches on again and then it goes around like that. And this is what we call a one tick clock, so this is the fastest clock you can have in Minecraft. And uh, so the um, the dispensers are going to be firing as quickly as it is humanly humanly possible in Minecraft. Uh. So now we need some blocks up here, and so that we can place the last uh. dispenser here, like that, and then we need to power these, and they are they are going to be powered. <coughs> Pardon me, from below here. Uh, so I guess I need to take these fence posts out. Uh, and I need to go up with the signal. Actually, you know what? It's going to be powered from here. Nothing else. Uh, nah. Maybe not. Maybe it's going to be... Maybe this thing has to be one deeper. I don't really want to do it, make it one deeper if I don't have to. But let's try out, first of all, if we can get the signal up here. Uh, we need to have a block here. 
to sort of block out the rest there. Like that, I think. And then if we switch the lever here, the lever, that does get powered. So that's nice. Can I now put this here? Okay, that's nice. So that now powers only this thing here. This is the dispenser here. You will see that if I put a piece of rotten flesh in there, for instance, that will still be in there. But if I put some things in there, they'll be... <laughs> they'll be quite mental, because it's going in and out quickly as, um, as, as can be. Oh no, it's not actually. It's going out. I wonder where they're ending up. Oh, they're ending up in my bag, that's where. Okay, so now next step here is to power the other two disp dispensers as well. And I think I will do it in this manner here. That should work fine, I think. Maybe. No. Do we need redstone up there? Yeah. I like that. So now they should all be powered. That one is fine. That one is fine. And this one is fine. Actually, you know what? I think I don't need that redstone, and I don't need that redstone, and I don't need these here on the side either, so I'll take these off and sort of build it bare bones for now that should be it actually, ooh a creeper really hope he doesn't get in here and yeah this is the farm, I'm go going to uh, hoe this oh we need some water as well by the way, I've forgotten about all about that and actually let's see here Water should be going here. So actually, let me tear some bits down because I am notoriously really bad at placing water. And also, let me turn this thing off because you know sound. Sorry about that. And so the water needs to go in there, there like that. So I need to take this out. Oh, darn it. Oh my dear. Okay, so block. Uh, now, hmm. I know. So when Imp Impulse built this thing, he built it one deeper to fit the water in. But I don't really want to do that, I have to admit. So what if I. Can I place a half slab on top of that? Can I? Can I? No, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna have to give this some thought, guys. Place the water and uh, get a hoe and some bits like that, and then I will be right back. And we're back. And uh, I, uh, I did have to uh, modify my design here so that I followed Impulse Swiss uh, <laughs> recommendation and put an extra piece of redstone here, and in that way, move back the clock one block, and then bring it up like this, up to the uh, dispensers, because underneath this dispenser is the water, and there's just no way for me to have the water there without having a block underneath it like that. So that's a modification, and then I've added some half steps up here, and that is basically to make this place dark, and I have uh, used a hoe on this piece of dirt, also I've placed a bunch of uh, bone meal in these, in these dispensers. So I'm gonna now just demonstrate this. I am sorry about the rain by the way guys, it's quite ugly but, and it sounds terrible but yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try this out now and see that it works. So we'll switch it on and we'll go to carrot mode. Now you can just hold in the right mouse button and get tons of carrots in this way. Ah, that's nice. We like the carrots. It works the same way with wheat, for instance. So we have a seed here. Switch it on again. Ah.
and as you can see you get bed sleeves and food from that so that's all nice obviously this does use a lot of bone meal um, but uh, I do have a skeleton farm so I should be alright really pleased with this actually this is awesome stuff this is going to make um, breeding these animals a lot easier in fact I'm going to go and do it now because they seem to be prone to escaping and uh, uh, yeah it's just a, it's just a, a space saver and it's uh, it's all around really nice to have so thoroughly recommend it and do please obviously check out Impulse SV's video as well to see an actual tutorial on how to do this so these guys are cute by the way I have to say that's about it so anyway this is it for today guys and uh, me and Smella stop standing in the uh, in the wall mate me and Smilla are going to um, round this off by going indoors. It's now it's stunning. Obviously she is getting... So uh, thank you very much guys for watching. And uh, if you like this video, please remember to leave a like. And if you really like it, please subscribe. Um, and yeah, this has been Veda Gavia. And I'll sign it out. Have fun. Bye-bye.